I want to show you how the new function in Dynamics GP workflow allows you to attach documents to a transaction in GP and then include that in the workflow messaging out to approvers. So let's take a look at a purchase requisition. So here's a purchase requisition for a new phone. I've got it pretty much filled out here. I've got a description of the item. I already know the vendor from whom I want to get it. And all I need to do now is attach a document to that. And so let's do that. I'm going to attach this document. I had previously downloaded this from the website, and let's just attach a document here. Here's the phone that I want to get. I'm going to attach that to my requisition. You can see that it's marked to go out as an email. So it's going to go out to an email when this goes through the approval process. I can go back and look at that attachment. Here's the attachment that's on this requisition. And now what I want to do is submit this for approval. So I'm going to hit submit. I can add a little note if I want to, and then submit it. So this is the email I received as a, an approver on the workflow for this particular requisition. So this is a pretty much a standard message, but you can modify it if you want to. I chose to modify it by adding the details from the line down here at the bottom. You can see that. But it also included the attachment that I had attached to the requisition. So if I click on this, it'll open up the attachment. And now, from an approver standpoint, they have access to a lot of information about this particular requisition. And if they want to go ahead and approve it, they can do that. Or they can do it right from the email by clicking on Approve. So let's go back and take a look at that requisition. Here's the requisition. We can review the history here by clicking on View History. And we can see that the workflow was originated, and then it was approved. Let's take a look at a simple workflow that I set up for this requisition. Here it is under the purchasing and purchase requisition approval. And this is my workflow right here. I basically have one step, and that's to approve the requisition. Let's take a look at that. Here I specify the person to whom this requisition will be sent for approval. I've also selected the specific message ID that will be sent for approval. And I marked this to include the attachment that I attached in the requisition. This is a quick example to show you how you can attach a document to a requisition and have that automatically included in the workflow so that when approvers log in and they look at emails for a particular requisition, they can see a lot of information, including the document, so that they have enough information to approve that or reject that requisition.